okay, that's okay. Oh, it must have been an update for... Right, so you, yeah, right, so we're both live now, so we've both got audio. And we're live, so that's, yeah, sorry about that, everyone. So we are now live with um, Unequal. So this is the Creator in Residence stream number six. And today we're going to take a look at hair, not necessarily making hair, but we're going to take a look at what some of the things that you need to be aware of when you are making hair. And an equal special guest is going to do that for us. So take it away, an equal. Right. Um, I guess we want to kind of approach the ways that you'd uh the kind of the differences between meshing short hair and long hair and then yes. getting them into iron view so i've made some kind of demos i guess um the first being uh I, I think it's important to stress that there are many many ways you can mesh hair um that's why we're not really touching on that yeah but as a very quick example i've made kind of a strand of hair and this is just a plane um, it's very low poly but um, basically applying a texture onto it and the kind of opacity can you hide the background just to make the opacities a bit clearer oh there we go there we go um, but that that's kind of one of the general approaches uh, people kind of do for creating hair and iron view as an example but the main thing being that when you have short hair like this there's uh sort of different ways you'd get this onto iron view so you could mesh this as an accessory sort of air quotation marks around the accessory part yeah and then you have your clothing items which are your sort of longer hairs they could be curly ponytail ponytails are a bit both as well but um anything that really you want to move with the body would be um sort of weighted in an entirely different way or yeah um hair accessory you don't necessarily have to wait do you you just attach it uh yeah. well yeah it's because it's air quotes accessory which type of air quotes accessory is it is it a proper accessory as in it's attached to the head mm. or is it an accessory as in the cat the, the catalog category which then means you know how because you can weight that to the head and or yeah um i guess in the way that it's attached to the head so you'd have maybe random hair strands mm. uh around the sort of forehead like fringe or I, yes. I guess you could even make sort of add on um, full fringes or bangs. Yes. Bangs, yes. Yeah, stuff like that. But um, yeah, just very quickly, that's kind of just a very. Yeah, so as a general rule of thumb, anything that's below shoulder length, neck length, yeah, that's generally going to be air quotes an actual accessory in terms of how it's actually made yeah anything longer than shoulder length is going to be uh, a body part so it's going mm -hmm. to use the skeleton the whole skeleton well yeah. depending on the style obviously yeah um but yeah that's pretty much your standard difference i'll come back to this later anyway when i sort of show the how are you be map this and everything do you want to do you want to um enable the wireframe overlay yeah that? that'd be handy with that there we go just lower that a tiny bit oh no no we won't <laughs> right yeah but um you generally you want to keep the, the sort of poly count very low yes i mean this is 72 triangles um i could probably lower that even further if i really wanted to yeah especially if you're going to duplicate and create mm -hmm. a, a more detailed hairstyle yeah from that basic unit that you've got yeah exactly um and then for the long hair 
here I this is this bit I pulled it down now you can kind of see yes the where I've not redone the UV mapping but yeah it's just an example of how you might want to use your opacities to create the kind mm. of wispy strands at the bottom mm. and then I've re, re UV mapped it um here you can kind of see mm. Yeah, just that's kind of your very basic here is hair yes strands yeah so th those are your uh, those are the very basic base elements that you can use to make more complicated hair styles yeah by layering them up or doing all sorts of other things i think this is also the smartest way because mm. when we want to talk about iron view limits um mm generally i know we said it's, it's really it's like 5k triangles for a short 10k for a long yes sort of ideally but you so i know that i couldn't upload something the other day because it went over 10k so that seems to be a limit on next now yeah um or it gave me a warning or something like that so you don't really want to go over that so if this if there's like this is only 72 so you can imagine you can go pretty wild with a few of them yes and not really hit your limits there so this is probably the best way moving forward i, I have other examples of uh other methods but it's kind of a bog standard now but yeah um then over here i've kind of your kind of stacked them all but you Here's your kind of hair base. This is actually the. Um, oh, do you want to hide, hide hide the background again? Oh yeah. There you go. Get rid of it. Um. So what I kind of did because I was playing around with all the different kind of methods of it, and um, but it's particularly important when I start talking about weighting, is this is literally the Sophie hair base, but I've just redone the mapping. Mm. Um, kind of your, kind of the hair base underneath, um, which is pretty handy for your short hairs because this would be a very easy place to start, in my opinion. Um, and then I've redone. So the... I had to, so the the one on the left is is so is the default that comes with IMVU. Yeah, yep, the complete default. If I have it here somewhere. Um, it was here. This file got very messy at one point. Oh, yeah, I bet. No, I guess I guess it's not there. But when not you open worry. up, yeah, when you open up your file, the uh, it's under default avatar when you create yes, right. as well. The the kind of standard um, hair with the bun. Yes. That is literally this, but I've just chopped off the bun. Right. And then um, this is you know, kind of, I, I did um, retopology. Oh, right. Okay. And I had to play around with that. So I, I you can really use the standard Sophie hair base as well. Yeah. And um, all I did was pull it down. That was it. And then yet again, your opacity and your texture. Yeah. And then kind of popped uh, half the UV map to create your yes parting. Then again, kind of long hairstyle with a bit of a fringe. So yeah, I was very much just kind of playing around um, with that kind of hair base to get an idea for hair, I guess. Mm -hmm. Very easy. Um, I I guess as long as you kind of know the basics of 3D and uh, if you use Blender, the basics of how to use Blender is all you really need, in my opinion, to start messing around with stuff like this. Right. And then the back to the original kind of strands of hair. Yeah. Is the sort of I'm not going to say final because no, no, yeah, pretty yeah. small to be honest, but yeah. um. It's an example of what you can do with that layering technique. 
exactly. Yeah. Um, but again, uh, each strand, 142 triangles. I, this should only be 2K. It's not. Oh, no, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 2K. Two. Yeah, that's good. So you can imagine, mm. you know, you have you have another 8K there to play with. Mm. And how you'd kind of get your sort of iron view hairs at that point. Mm. You just kind of have to be aware of that limit. Yeah. Um. So we have a, uh, right. This this is a very bad example <laughs> yeah, yeah. of creating your hairs on IMVU. That yeah. is your entire head of hair. Yeah. Don't do this. Yeah. <laughs> However, saying that, if you know how to do retopology, re yes, you know this would be quite smart to create your shapes. Yes, and go over them because you could drop that very low and create yes. um, the sort of three D method of uh, creating your curls, and then you could do some planes yes. around it to create the strands as well. Yeah, I mean, if you were being super duper lazy, you could use decimate, the decimate modifier yeah. on that as well. Yeah, you could as well. Yeah, um, and then this is a this is literally the bun on the back of the Sophie hairstyle. Right. And I've just dragged it down, and there's my ponytail. It took about half a second, but um, that is more. Eighteen thousand triangles. <laughs> I hope not. There we go. <laughs> 216, yeah. Don't <laughs> worry there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that is for when I kind of mention animated animated hair as well. Yeah, so that would be an accessory because yeah. obviously we can't animate body parts yet. We can't. Well, we can't make things animate relative to the body, the torso, the mm -hmm. skeleton. Um, and then I'm also going to quickly touch on if you want to add an actual accessory right. to your hair, but have it attached rather than sort of getting your hair and then going and getting a separate accessory as well in the right. IMB store. So they're part of the same product. Exactly. So yeah. you put on your hair and it will have an accessory on it. Right. So. Excellent. Uh, that's kind of the... A very, very, very basic method of how you go about starting hair. Mm. Um, which, in my opinion, is the hardest part of the rest of it. Because when when you're making short hair, um, for waiting, it's mm. literally just weighted to the top of the head. Mm nothing else needs to be moved or anything like that mm. um let me see if i have that sort of short hair example probably not no use this one i'm actually going to turn off that wireframe for a minute it's driving me insane i loves me some wireframe do you like oh, it, it, yeah. I find it very distracting <laughs> I can't model without it actually really god yeah. no I can't I, I guess I'm distracted by everything in Blender so it would just be a nightmare <laughs> for me oh it's dead right. so yeah again this is just that um, that Sophie hair base just very quickly pulled back um. So one tip, actually, just seeing you do this, is that when you make your hair, what you can do is set the origin point of the hair to be exactly the same as the head. So when you, if you move it aside, a you, what you can then do is just snap it to the origin of the head. Because yeah, you, that... Mm. Yeah, so because you've got the hair, the, well, the origin of the hair offset, that means that, you know, you have to do a little bit of fiddling to position, reposition the mesh on the head. But it's just a tip for when you're making hair, not you, but you as in everyone you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be smart. 
is um, it just I do that a sure. lot. Yeah. I just, I, I mean, uh, not what you've just said. I, I do the method where I'm just sitting there for 20 minutes trying to fit it back. Yeah. It's just not good. No. But, uh, right. Now I just realise I'm stuck on the attachment tool, aren't I? If I want the clothing tool. Yes. Yeah. So you've you've made these. So yeah, this is the one thing that you've got to be aware of. This is why you have to decide ha what type of hair you're making before you make it, because these short hairstyles they can be done using either the attachment skeleton or the avatar skeleton. You don't really want to use the avatar skeleton because it's a bit of a waste. Mm -hmm. But you have to make sure you decide what you want to do beforehand because if you decide you want to change the skeleton, you have to change the entire file. So you, you basically have to recreate, well, you create a new project and then append the bits that you want into the new project. You can't swap tools using the no. toolkit. No. Um... But right, so we want to make we we want to weight this as a clothing item right now, don't we? Uh, it's well, if it's a short hair, we it's and we're in the accessory in the attachment, aka the accessory tool. We can you just set that up as an accessory item. Okay, right then. Um, check that if I've done anything on here. No. Oh, let me talk about UVs quickly. Actually. Oh yes. Here. Um, right, so we go back to the original. So, <clears throat> I have literally just mapped this out to fit a two, uh, 512 by 512. Mm -hmm. And just mapped it out as a square. You, you can be pretty creative with this. I did have a go at kind of moving it around. But, mm. um, you know, I found stretching out as much as possible creates more thin strands um mm. to be fair my textures for my hairs are the wrong size so well that's that's something that doesn't uh, well i mean the the only thing that would be critical there is how the transparency is rendered mm. Because if you're so you've got it mapped to a square, but if your texture is a rectangle, um, height wise, it's going to stretch out your opacity. Right. Right. Okay then. I was thinking that. Yeah. But um, I mean, this is this is fine for now. Apart from that, it would, which you can use to your advantage. It's it's yeah. You know, it just depends on what the look that you're after. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's literally all this is mm. just completely mapped it out like that. Cause it, uh, I, th I think I UV mapped it when I made the plane and then I started playing with it. Right. Afterwards yeah. With the texture on it. I would recommend that put your texture on it as soon as possible. Yeah. Otherwise I got, I got halfway through of one and I was, I didn't UV map it to begin with and it looked very odd yeah. yeah very weird things happen so um well if so, you re if you yeah. redo that uv map now it'll be a completely different shape <laughs> yeah if i just unwrap that yeah, yeah see yeah and then there we go yeah undo undo so, quick <laughs> <laughs> but um and i found yeah i have this funny thing of blender where everything i unwrap is upside down i don't know why it does this for everything that's weird yeah, literally everything. So every single time. So if anyone else else has that problem, just quickly one eighty whatever you're doing if it looks weird because it's usually the case. I don't know why it does that. Mm. But um, there, that's literally it. And then the uh texture is just through in one of my hair textures. Yeah, simple material. That's all we need. Yeah. Yeah. And then the opacity, which uh. You're going to have to play with that quite a bit. Mm. I mean, right here it says number eight already. Yeah. That was the eighth try. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I found that was kind of the best way I wanted to go, which is literally just black lines. Yeah. Can I view it there? Yeah, I can. 
one of these. Uh, this one, there it is. Yeah. That's all it is. Um, yeah. Just dragged black a few times with my mouse and quite yeah. a day. But yeah, you can have a good play around with that because especially when you want to do outside layers with your individual strands. Yeah. You might want to add a lot more in like this one, say. Yeah. Um, there's another one. Yeah. Very thin strands. I think it creates an effect like this. So obviously that's where you need to play with it. So I'd completely black out parts of this mm. in places. Mm. But that, that's really all it is for your strand of hair and creating that illusion of hair mm -hmm. um, at the very basics yeah. before you kind of construct your entire mesh. Um, after you have your kind of base like this. Mm. Yeah, and then keeping your poly count low, yeah. Right, so this this is where you're going to have to um, probably help me out a bit here, because I had a lot of problems with this. I don't know why. But... Right, so, yeah. So you see, you've, you can do it two ways. You can either select it from the list that you've got there. Well, yeah, or you can use the eyedropper and click on the bone that you actually want to... Oh, your head's moved. Yeah, what's happened here? Yeah. Hmm. Let's pop that back there. That'll be fine, won't it? Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah. But yeah, um, so yeah, the eyedropper. I, I, I find that eyedropper kind of hard because if you... Yeah, see, I'm picking up hair, head, yeah. Attachment rig. I, I'm pretty quick in Blender, so I usually yeah. misclick a lot. Yeah. So I always go for this, and then yeah. you know, I like I know this needs to be on the head, so I yeah. just quickly type in head. Yeah. There you go. And then your avatar will appear. Yeah. And I guess just set up mesh. No. Select the mesh. The hair mesh. That's it. Oh, wait, you're going too quick. <laughs> yeah, it's this. I knew this was going to happen. Hold on. So what's this called? Hair. All right. All right, do it. Do it again. So that's um, that error message. It's gone now, so that's OK. Oh, there we go. Fixed. Yeah. So you might, depending, so this is a general thing, so you, you might get that error message cropping up sometimes, and there are a couple of fixes for it. But um, it's it's nothing particularly critical in terms of you haven't done anything wrong necessarily, It's the, but there is a fix for it. Yeah. Yeah, I usually just do it again. It will work at some point. Did that just, did you export that? Oh, yes, all right, I cool. Right. So we want the empty attachment here, don't we? Yeah. Let's grab that. Yeah, well you can you can use you could use any accessory root to derive from. Yeah, there you go. I generally want to be exp uh, um, the empties because yeah. th those are stripped of anything. Yeah, I constantly use empties now. I stopped using the defaults. Yeah, the defaults a long time ago because I could never figure out how to get rid of them. Yeah. I remember how many times I made glasses and I couldn't get rid of the default glasses. Yeah. Right. Um. There we go. So let's see. Yeah, import FBX. Yeah. I have to bear with me while I find this. I just need this. There we go. We have two skeletons, three meshes. Oh. 
yeah we don't we never want to touch that do we we want to go for the attachment route yeah yeah it's usually the one with the lowest number of bones yeah um and then obviously because this is a hair yeah make sure we use number one for the mesh ID. yeah i mean very luckily this tells you very clearly now i yeah. really enjoyed that feature yeah um because when you're adding your accessory i'll go back to this in a minute but you have a lot of empties here to use yes and this is where your accessories are going to start going as well so that they don't conflict with any of this yeah look very weird otherwise um there's all my materials uh, yeah and a quick note uh, for uh, users of blender if you set your materials up the way that uh, an equals shown so it's just simple connecting your diffuse and your transparency studio will import those assets that's the shading bit, isn't it? yeah like this yeah. yeah so if you have your if that's your material that will work in studio studio will see all of that and it'll bring it in and assemble it correctly so that's that's one really good core cool feature of uh, the toolkit and the way that studio works god yeah it saves a lot of time yeah right um yeah no animation i, I hope it's gonna work okay it looks a little bit weird for some reason right yeah it's there it's we've just got to override yep so that's here is it here Body mesh parts. mesh it's you're overriding the mesh oh what over here yeah yeah right um Inspector on the right. At the top. Inspector oh, tag. Right, right, there you right. go. Now you can. So you're going to find the hair and then override it, the hair mesh. That should be it. Yeah. Yeah, that should be it. Ooh, looks like we found a glitch. No, that is this. If I go back to material, it has to be double sided if I'm correct. I think this happened last time. Right. That's how we get our texture to show. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. And then something's wrong here. This was the problem I had yesterday. I wonder if it's because of the naming convention you've got on your material, the dot zero zero one. So in mm. I in Blender, if you remove the yeah the numerical append that it auto places there, I've I've had trouble with that in the past. Right, so this needs to be a four, is it for her? I think so. Yeah. Just double check that. Yeah, right. Assign your ID to four, yeah. yeah. So this would be, let's just call it blonde. And make sure you name that four, because that's that's the default for yeah. whatever you have. And you should always name your base four. Yeah. Um, no matter how many sort of hair meshes you have. Yeah, I forgot about that bit. There we go. That should be fine now. Remove that, that'd be alright. Make sure you select one of those. Oh, what's this one then? Hmm. No hair of four, I don't know. A rogue material from somewhere. Oh, that's that's the one. Mm.
Uh oh. <laughs> Doesn't like that. Hmm. That's definitely the one, though. If I go into the. No, it doesn't like that tool, does it? No. Just restart, redo, redo the project. Yeah. So this sometimes happens with Studio: is that if you have a project open and you delete something from the project to reload the file in, it'll sometimes do that. So the best thing to do is just to restart the project. Hopefully that um, update's not going to cause me any issues. Oh. Shouldn't do. I've no. not updated my um, Blender or anything since, so... All right. Right. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. This one. Um... I hope it's this one. I don't know why this one's not called Blonde 4, but mm -hmm. I named it. Yeah, Blonde 4. Should we go for that one instead, just yeah. in case? There we go. And then... I'm kind of puzzled why it's not replacing the default hair. Yeah. Because it should be doing that. Let me try it with the other one just in case. Oh, wait, no. Um, this is an accessory, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, oh, it needs to be two. It's, so it needs to be two for the female, yes. Yeah. We're professionals. You can trust us. <laughs> Right, two. Yeah, so that's that's yeah, so that's something that we'll have to have a chat with peeps at IMVU about because that's that's slightly confusing. Yeah, especially when it's called chest and arms. Yes. Right. Let's hope this works now. I'm losing faith here. <laughs> right, female hair four. Hopefully, Joe, I'm gonna go with the blonde because I really don't trust the other one. Revere. Import. Get rid of my hair. Um, yeah, so it should only really show two, the number two, plus, you know, any. Um... So, that, so that's the, yeah, so this is, I can see it, it's there. Yeah. But we need to change the material ID now, right? Because now it's setting to the actual IM view hair. Yes. Yeah, right. So you have to do two completely different things. Yes, you have to set the mesh ID and the material ID. Yeah. So that's why. But it should still be overriding the default. Yeah, that's, yeah um... Yeah, it should that should be working. You know what you're gonna have to do? Update. <laughs> God. Right, should I go into uh waiting? Yes. Come back to this. So yeah. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Right, let's um I'm for you's gonna I'm for you. Right, so here's the long... Oh, okay, I guess we could just wait the short hair. Yes. So, actually, let's go for the long one, because I want to show the kind of way that would work. So... Right, so once you've, once you've got your style, you're generally going to have to combine everything into a single mesh. Did that yeah. right here. Okay. 
So here's the longer one. Yeah. So we need to append this to a new file, don't we? Yeah. So. So make a new file. Closing. Yep. Append the closing file. There is our closing file. And it's a female. Okay. And then append. Find our file. Double click. Objects. And then the mesh that's in there somewhere. In amongst all of that. Yep. And then, yep, append. Now we have our hair. Mm. Now we don't want to get rid of that female hair, do we? Because it's going to completely break it. Well, you can hide it from the for the you know because it shouldn't really matter from the point of view of just um, you know working on the project. That's a good note. Actually, I've noticed this. So when you have your um, files, your toolkit files, you mm. can't hide any of this. Mm, you have to use the buttons. It, yeah. The toolkit so, buttons. Yeah. So if you've got here. Um, and then click your restriction toggles. Mm -hmm. These will be off by default. Yep. So you just toggle them back on. Then you can start yep. hiding them. I had that problem at first. Yep. I couldn't figure it out at all. But right. Um, <clears throat> so we want to weight this now to the head. So we, yep, we want to click the mesh. Bind to armature. Yeah. There we go. So you can see that's the the active is the light light orange, which is your armature now. Yeah. And then your object's the darker. Yeah. Uh, handy little paint weights weights button. Yeah. So you mention right then. Make sure you click your object, then click that button. Yeah. And then um. So this is now switched as into Blender's default weight paint mode, but just using the toolkit interface. That's that's all it's done. Yeah. Yeah. So the first thing I do here is I find the head bone straight away in your groups. Object data properties. Yeah. Yeah. So. Brady, the the top of the head that's attached to the skull is always going to have a weight of one because obviously your your scalp isn't going to come off your head at any point. Yes. So um, now I don't know how you would normally do this, but this is very much how I do it, where I would highlight of top of the head that I know is yeah. on yeah, the that's, skull. That's valid. Yeah. Yep. And then that's in edit mode. I yep. select everything there. And then I'd pop back into weight paint and I'd turn on vertex selection. So you can see everything that I've highlighted here. Yeah. And then I'd go down here. The the only way you can get this far is by turning on vertex selection yeah um put that all the way at one and then i'd assign them bones them to vertexes yeah and that will give everything that weight of one to the head bone yeah and that's how i'd kind of start it there um then i'd go through and like i know that i don't want any of the neck bones messing with any of them weights Mm -hmm. So I'll kind of click through, like already we've got. Yes. That's going to come straight away from the head. I'll just show you that quickly. Yeah. Oh, because my they head. don't have that weight. <laughs> yeah. So we want anything that's not the head to have a weight of zero. Yeah. So I'll select the next bones. Um, also select all the hair for now and get rid of any weight 
that shouldn't be there. Because, yeah, the spine mm. again. Mm. Get rid of absolutely everything. Um, you usually have your shoulder bones. You seem to be fine with that one, but just in case. Your shoulder bones and your clavicle, yeah. Oop. Can do the same. But anything to the top of the head, I'll go through them particular bones down to the elbow. I won't go any lower than that. I'd, I mean, I'd, I'd hope that nothing would be on the wrist or hand anyway. Uh, shoulder and clavicle. That should be fine. So now if I double check that. Yeah. There's, a, there's one more there. But the sort of main head of hair is kind of sticking one now. Um... go through them. Oh, there we go. That's probably the problem. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for that interruption, Mr. Noisy Motorbike. <laughs> uh, I don't know where these weights have come from. It had no weight it's, on it. It's, um, I don't know why there are weights on it, but those are obviously the bones that are in the avatar skeleton, so you can actually remove the ones that aren't going to be used. Yeah. Sort of click through them, right? Mm, yeah, and then just delete them, press the minus yeah. button. I do that with clothing a lot. Yeah. But that should be... Because there's one thing that we need to keep in mind with studio in particular is that the limitation of... of is it four? It's four bones right now, isn't it? Four, yeah. So you want to be aware of how you weight paint your meshes to make sure that you don't have more than, right now at least, four bones influencing the mesh. Mm -hmm. Any part of the mesh. But that you can now see. Mm. We've got nothing going on at the top of the head. Mm. Which is limited. Um, this bar, I just smooth it. That's all I do. Um, with the kind of head bone. This, this will probably work with this hairstyle, but when you get stuff like curls or coming down a front or anything mm. like that mm. you're gonna want to start i guess just checking and tweaking here and then mm. for something like this it should be fine though oh hi miyaka miyaka's joined the chat oh hiya oh yeah there's a chat i did have it popped out yeah, don't don't worry too much about it. Um, the the way that I do my weight painting is I will select sort of where the yes. kind of object is against yeah. it. I yeah. will click both, hop into weight paint mode, weights transfer weights. Ah. Uh -huh. Nearest face into. Interpolated. Interpolated. That's yeah. the one. Yeah. And then by name. Yeah. This might break the top of the headphones. No, it did not. But now if I go through yeah, you can see it's yeah. kind of worked. It it can work very well. Um yeah. you can see a spine's now got bones yeah. against it. But this is a very quick way of kind of getting your weights in. Mm hmm And then Oops. Yeah, it will break. It will break the head again. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. But um, it's so easy to fix. But um, it's just it's a very good guide if you're very new to weight painting and you don't quite understand where weight's meant to go. Mm -hmm. But see, now we have the 
back of the hair moving with that spy bone, spine bone, mm. which is kind of what we wanted. It's probably captured your clavicles as well. Yeah, probably. And then we just need to limit the bones after. And then again, just double check that everything's fine where you don't really want it to be. So on the top of the head, because the, these parts you can kind of smooth and paint as you go as well. Mm. Um, then anything that, I mean, I think this will be fine, but they're already pretty smooth down here. The only problem might be this, where was it, the neck bone? Yeah. And I'll just smooth out the active group. This you might want to paint all the way across, to be fair. Mm. But, um... Yeah, there's one pokey bit from somewhere. Where's that? No. White painting. So great. Mm hmm. That looks like a random. almost a head weight. Yeah. Yes. Then we can just set everything else to zero where it doesn't need to be. Should be fine now. Yeah, a bit more tweaking and then. Um, yeah, just. You know. Yes, yeah, yeah, so I mean, the, the way painting is the fiddly bit. That's yeah. the fiddly bit. And then for your, uh, once you've kind of done your weight painting, you always want to limit your bones to four. Mm -hmm. So just straight into weights, limit total four. And there we go. That's done a lot. Yeah, wow, yeah. Um, and then that will stop any problems you have with pulling and everything like that. Weird clipping issues. problem with the materials but um there's your kind of yeah that's painted and everything four bones uh yeah but long hair doesn't necessarily have to be a clothing item either it can be an accessory yeah, but you, you will have problems with like the back of the hair won't yeah. move with the avatar yeah it has no weights on and everything like that yeah um yeah, should we try to export that? Yeah, try and export it, see what it does. Or you might have to, yeah, adjust your um, material names. So that's our base, isn't it? Yeah, so base would, will always be four. And then for the, for the empties, so let's have 30 and above. So what this allows you to do is to set different opacities for yeah. the different areas of the mesh. Plus the fact that these sort of in-between bits, mm. they are not UV mats like, mm. say, this material number 31. Mm. These are all different. Yeah. Um, everything like that, but that should be fine now. Yeah, these are like my strands at the back, so. Mm. Right, that should be fine. Um, that's all done. Is the file saved? You need to save the file before you can export. Okay. Um, 
I think I'm going to oh, have to replay this at 0.5 speed. I'm quite fast. I'm very bad habit, <laughs> yeah. Very bad habit. <laughs> right, so that, that's weighted. I just completely broke my weights, but we're fine. I fixed it. <laughs> um, right, that's already been binded. Don't click that button after you yeah, do what yeah, I just yeah. did. Weights are painted. Pose mode. I, yeah, you can click that button. Yeah. I just got here. Yeah. And export. Yes. Good. There we go. There we go. Um, now this is from an empty clothing item. Yes. Which is right here. There we go. No. Oh, what am I doing? Right, that was hair 11, wasn't it? There it is. This is how quick pros work, folks. <laughs> Constant problems. Right, um, this needs to be uh, one now. Yeah, because this yeah. is now an avatar, well, body, body part replacement yeah. thingy. Right, um... We want all of these, don't we? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No animation. Oh Oof, God. that's a lot of files. Yeah. There we go. Right. We're so that's what should have happened with the accessory. Yeah. I don't know why the accessory wouldn't work then. That's very weird. So... We need to set all of these to double sided as well. Yeah, you can have back face um, culling on in Blender, can't you? That's mm, why it doesn't yeah. look like this. And then, uh, so the, the weights are a funny one because that's the head there. That when I'm view, in the Blender, yes. huge. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so this is where the whole tweaking comes in. Yeah. You're going to need to lower that and blend this out more. Yeah, so if you're using um, scalars or any of those other things that change the shape yeah. or using a custom head, there's going to be a lot of trial and error involved in getting that... Um, Getting that to match up. Yeah, there's a lot of playing around once the kind of weight comes into play. But, I mean, it's the same as everything, isn't it? Mm. I mean, I, I must upload 15 meshes before I'm like, yeah, that'll mm. do. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that is kind of your basics for how you'd get your hair in as a clothing item. Mm. Uh, I just don't understand the accessory. That's the only problem. Um, also about oh, putting the... When you have an accessory you'd like to add to this, so we just add a very quick torus and like a little halo. Halo, shall I? There we go. So, when you want to attach your accessory to your hair base, this just needs to have its own material um, and ID number. So, on the hair, we have up to 34 hair. Mm. This accessory item would need um, 35. Let's go to mm. Halo. Five. There we go. And then you'd. UV map at that and everything. Just mm. added colour onto that. There you go. Um, and then you just attach that instead of separating them and breaking them up. Mm -hmm. So there we go. It's now in with the hair and mm -hmm. it's got 
you can see the materials right there. Then that, of course, would be your head, top of the head again. Yeah. And then that's all that would need. A uh, majority of accessories on the head like this, like a hair clip or anything like that, all would have the weight of one on the head as well. Yeah. Um, And that again is exact thing, but with your accessory now. So I'll very quickly do that. All right, so let's see if this works. It, yeah, it's, I'm hoping it does. It should do. That was 12. So hair again. Yeah, there is the halo. Yeah. With our colour on it. Yeah. Ooh. Right, and then there we go. So you can see here on the left, mm -hmm. there is our halo. Yeah. Um, we need to double side weave again, but you could upload a product with that halo directly on your hair now, mm. especially now that studio has particles and everything. I mean, you could have the hair almost reflect the halo mm. if you wanted to be really cool with it. Mm. And then if you want to upload a different version, you literally just opacity that out and it'd be gone. Mm -hmm. And there we go. That's how you'd get your... Um, accessories directly on a head, anything. Well, that's the, 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 the same with the hair itself. You can opacity the strands out completely. Yeah, exactly. If you break your... So if you think about how you're making your hair, so you're essentially making a sort of a layer, layerable clothing item in a similar sort of way that you can remove sections using the opacity um, yeah like add on fringes and stuff that yeah. you might want your customers to remove as well yeah um yeah i think that was i mean that was sort of long and hair everything it's just the the problem with the accessory i don't know why that's doing that mm. we'll try it again with the because you're updated now oh god yeah mm. Try and see if it'll do it again. May I start a new file just in case there's something wrong with the other one? Yeah. Yeah. So this time I open up the attachment tool. Yeah. Female. And then just append that short hair, which is 10 project short. There you go. Um, set that to the head. Set up. Oh, yeah, save your file. Right, let's try again.
Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Now, this is an accessory, so this should be two, not one, for a female. Yeah, uh, yeah that's okay. There we go, that's much better. Let's yeah. see if that works. That's weird. That should be replacing. So I wonder if it's just something to do with studio and the way that studios referencing the head because it should replace that. Um. Yeah, okay. I did put one, didn't I? No, two. Two. Do it. Do we want to do one? If one is. Well, there? let's try one. Yeah, let's try yeah. one then. That's weird though because that's an accessory, not an a, not a. Yeah. Try that. Yeah, because if you if you do it from the old accessory file, the one with the glasses, yeah, it's two. Yeah. So maybe this is the thing that in from the empty you it's you because the body because the body parts are still in the file. Maybe you have to use the body part IDs now, if you use an empty. I've never I've never come across this before. Yeah, so one. So this would be something else to mention. Yeah. So it's when you it's when you remove. Yeah. See, that's. It's still there. Yeah. Because I know you can like override hair. Right. There we go. Hello, hey, why are you still there? What if we do that with the other one? Yeah, that looks like something's... Something's a little glitchy. Yeah. Yeah, that's not right. Just hide one of the hide one of the other body parts just to see what that does. Um Nothing. Nothing at all, no. Yeah. Is this cuz this is derived from an accessory instead of the body? Can you Yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah, because if it's an accessory, we shouldn't really have access to the body parts. Yeah. So maybe this is just um, a bug. Yeah, I can't get in the... Um, That's very weird. There's nothing here for this one. Mm -mm. I guess I'll have to find out about that. I shall mention that in the next creator meeting. Yeah. That's very weird. So, yeah, because what it should be doing is the same sort of thing that it does in Classic, is that it overrides yeah. the default. So the black style, the black hairstyle, would be replaced by the blonde hairstyle. Yeah. But for some reason it's not doing it. Mesh ID zero. That's odd. So try zero then, I guess. What, on the override? Mm. Or... Well, override, I guess. Nothing crazy, has it gone? Yeah, where's it gone? Is it in inventory? No, it's in your... Info. Yeah, info. Oh, body parts zero and one. Okay, so... Yeah, I can't touch the head. Right, so it's on the head. 
Oh, because it's attached to the head, right? No, it's it's well, well, it's an ex it's an accessory. So the accessories have their own IDs. For males, it's zero. For females, it's two. But that's assuming the standard accessory file, which is the glasses, and you're replacing the glasses. But this is not that accessory file. This is essentially like... It looks like what they've essentially done is made a empty clothing file into an empty accessory file. And the structure for the accessory versus the clothing empty cl is not the same. Yeah. We shouldn't have access for accessories. We shouldn't be accessing body parts. No. So this is um, an oversight or a bug. Is it worth trying on the the glasses, the original glasses file? Yes. Yeah. Try that. Yeah. God. Uh, one second. You should be able to access ex accessorize it. You should be able to access it from <laughs> you know just a standard created new project. Uh God, yeah. New. No. Create button. Top right. Oh, oh. yeah. So you have to close some of those. Let's get rid of that one. That one didn't work. Right, so accessories, empty. F oh no, so right, so the glasses. What are they called? Oh, it's been such a long time since I've used them. Uh, are they are even called. It's those blue ones. Can you see on the spice? Well, towards yeah. the yeah, it's it's, but it's not. That's a derivative. Yeah, there you go. Oh wow, yeah, definitely not them. Right. Yeah, somebody's trying to um, earn a bit of credits. <laughs> right. Um... Right. So this should work because we are replacing the glasses. Yeah, you see. So for female, it's two to replace the glasses. Do we do two then now? Yeah, try two. Uh. That's no. not worked either. That's very weird. Hmm. ID zero. Yeah. That's like... the material ID though. Yeah. So what's the mesh ID? That is. Yeah, two. two. So what does it say? What what does it say? The mesh ID is in the mesh tab on the left. So two. two but it's put hair short, which is. That's your mesh. Yes. Yeah. That's the head, because the head is zero. That, that's what I mean. Do, uh, it, it just keeps putting it as zero for some reason. Yeah, that's what it shouldn't be doing that. So no. that, that's that's either an oversight or it's a bug. So that's something that we. So anyway, folks. Yes, what should happen is that when you import your hair, it should override the default. Yeah. Very weird. But the hair's in, 
you know, and yeah, it's textured, yeah. and the opacity is set up. But yeah, I mean that that's your accessory hair as yes. well. Yes. Yeah. Which is great for short hair, and it's a lot quicker. Yes. Than sitting there, wait, waiting it. Yeah, because of course now um, a lot of like you've got a static pose on your yeah. avatar, so you know i mean most people do do people use the default avatar the animations on the avatars anymore or um no i mean i i see a very few now yeah compared to what they used to be yeah so if if the hair is going to be used for static poses you don't necessarily need to worry too much about doing full weight painting and all of that sort of stuff you just set it up as an accessory mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, what did we talk about? Weight painting, meshes being too heavy, so um, accessories, yeah, long, short versus long, Z fighting, that's one thing that we didn't cover. Um, yeah. Um... So basically, that's when two surfaces are fighting for rendering to screen because they're too close. They're too close together. There yeah, there is. we go. Like that. Very weird effect. Yeah. But you'd build to conform to the iron view head shape. Yeah. Um, to stop that from happening. So if yeah. you ever see that, something's yeah. just out of place slightly. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Well, that's that is, uh, is this, no, I think that's about, that's about it. Unless there's anything else that you can think of. No, I pretty much went over everything, but yeah, I, I, I wrote here, hair is body part ID one, make sure you use material number four. So I don't, that is definitely something wrong there. Mm. Well, I'll mention that at the next CIR meeting. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. Yeah. Right. Well, that was pretty cool. I think I will replay this at half speed. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like a good idea, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it wasn't too fast. No, no, it is. But I could just about follow it. So. <laughs> okay, that's fine then, yeah. No, but it's it's kind of funny watching other people work, you know, because you see all the sort of the foibles and the the idiosyncrasies that other people have when they're using Blender. Yeah, my my middle mouse button is slowly wearing away. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've I've killed a number of mice because of that <laughs> middle mouse button. Yeah, need need some you know kryptonite mices or something mouses. Mm -hmm. But yeah yeah okay um well we've done about an hour and 20 minutes so that's pretty cool that'll do yeah oh that's one thing that um it's including the bat wings on oh you did that with the 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 donut the halo. yeah i made a halo instead yeah yeah I, I, I knew i'd have to find that file and we would have been there for a very long time but um that's the exact same thing as the halo yeah Popping it in place. You give it its own ID. Yeah. So that would be like, I don't know. What was the other one? 34, 35. 35. So like, that wins. Yeah, because it's the number, not necessarily the words or the label that's used, that's important for IMVU. So yeah. keep an eye on your numbering. So that's a space, square brackets, your, mesh, uh, your material ID, close square brackets. And between one and ten is usually used for some kind of body part. Yes, yeah, so, so those are the defaults. Yeah. Yeah. So anything eleven and above, although there is, uh, there are depending on the item that you're driving, there I think there are there is a number eleven and a number twelve. I can't remember what those are for. There's a, I, I use, it's on discussion somewhere, I don't, I don't really know where I can post it, but I use a whole mesh channels and body parts guide. Yes. And I stick to them, like, if I do a skirt, I will give it the number 50. Yes. 
<clears throat> between 50 and 59 for skirts and anything in that area. Right, yeah. So there's a, a general kind of, you could just uh, find it, mesh channels and body part reference guide. Yeah. But that would stop things conflicting as well. Yeah. If you just stick to them kind of numbers. Yeah, because if you if you load something in and it's using the same material number. Yeah. They well, what what do do they do they both disappear or does one disappear? I don't. I've not had that problem personally. No. Um. I only ever get that with anything on the face and baby hair. So if a baby hair is using, like, let's say 16, mm. and my eyeshadow is using 16, mm. one of them will break. But for some reason, it's only on um, blended face products I get that problem. But I've never right. seen it anywhere else. Yeah. Yeah. Right. All right, then. That was... Um pretty cool actually i mean as i say it's it's interesting watching other people using blender as well uh, just to see how they use it mm. but um right okay then thanks very much for that um thanks for lurking lurkers thanks miyaka for the chat comment um not quite sure what we'll be doing for the next creator in residence live stream um Unreal, not unreal. What's what's your what's your username? Your I'm, unequal. Unequal. I keep yeah. thinking unreal, and you know all sorts of other uh, undo. <laughs> no, <Fair enough. laughs> no. yeah. And uh, we've got Especially another one. After an hour and a half. What? After an hour and a half stream. Yeah. Um, we've got another one scheduled using. Um, marvelous designer. Yes. So that that will be very interesting. So we'll be doing marvelous. Well, not we. Um, an equal will be using. Will be showing us using marvelous designer in combination with Blender, mm -hmm. um, which will be very interesting. But we'll, we'll that's we'll deciding on a date for that. Yeah. Um. So. Next week, I'm not sure. Uh, Cure uh, will be back next week, I think. Maybe, I have to see. Uh, but right, so yeah, that's a long-winded way of saying thanks very much for doing all of that. That was very interesting. Um, yeah. Thanks for lurking, lurkers. Thanks, Miyaka, for the chat, and we shall see you on the next stream. So bye for now, everyone. <laughs>